Good morning, everybody. Welcome to morning prayer time. Um, it's still very cold outside. <laughs> I love it, uh, but it is a little too cold to be sitting out doing my prayer time this morning. So thanks for joining me in my um, our, our family office space. Um, Remember at any point you can, good morning, Margaret. Uh, remember at any point you can put, uh, post comments or um, prayer requests into the chat and we will try and pray for those together. Especially even if I don't get to it in the morning, like in, a, in the live uh, Facebook time for prayer, those, those prayer requests are seen by me and others uh, in, on our prayer team and we will be praying for you even if you post it two days later. Or whenever um, but thanks for joining us here today or whenever you are watching this and join me for our opening oh Lord let my soul rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the Sun glory to the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever amen And the morning mantra today is great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And the city of our God is God's holy hill. Uh, not every time, but um, some days I think I've shared, sometimes they have a little uh, opening um, bit of like historical uh, stuff to share for the day. This is through the, the, um, the app the common prayer for ordinary radicals and this morning had a special thing to share about uh, a special person his name was martin de porres probably martin de porres but he was dominican uh, he was a dominican brother who was often celebrated by mixed race people and those committed to ending racism and segregation he was born in lima peru the son of a Spanish nobleman and a former slave from Panama. Having grown up familiar with poverty and prejudice, he became a passionate advocate for those on the margins, establishing an orphanage and a hospital for children and becoming well known for his compassion. Martin is often depicted with a broom because he considered all work to be sacred and was committed to service and sacrifice. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. And the city of our God is God's holy hill. And this, uh, the morning mantra this morning comes from Psalm 78, or 48, sorry, 48, 2 through 7. If you will read with me. Beautiful and lofty, the joy of all the earth is the hill of Zion, the very center of the world and the city of the great king. God is in her citadels. God is known to be her sure refuge. Behold, the kings of the earth assembled and marched forward together. They looked and were astounded. They retreated and fled in terror. Trembling seized them. They writhed like a woman in childbirth, like ships of the sea when the east wind shatters them. And we have heard, so have we seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God has established her forever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And the city of our God is God's holy hill. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And the city of our God is God's holy hill. Um, the thing that we want to talk about this morning a little bit is just um, that God calls us into community that uh, God establishes a city, a, a community of people living together. And the, the, the theme of that psalm um, is that when God, you know, has gathered this, his city together, that the, the enemies fear and tremble, that they, that they know that they can't stand against um, God's holy people. Um, and the for reflection, going back a little further, Cyprian of Carthage 
a third century North African bishop said, the Lord Christ did not want us to pray by ourselves in private or for ourselves alone. We, are, we do not say, my Father who art in heaven, or give me this day my daily bread. It is not for oneself alone that each person asks to be forgiven, not to be led into temptation, or to be delivered from evil. Rather, we pray in public as a community, not for one individual, but for all. And I see David Gill said, good morning. Good morning, David. I'm so glad y'all are here with me this morning. Um, of course, we have that scripture verse, right, where, where Jesus instructs people to not pray out on the city corners for everyone to see um, with the intent of our prayers being to show off how um, holy and righteous we are and how beautiful our prayers are. But God um, instead instructs people to go and pray in their closet, right? But the, the prayer that Jesus gives us is very communal. It's our Father who art in heaven. Um, it is forgive us our trespasses. It's so communal. And so um, sometimes we think of, of sin and we think of things as being individual. And, and they are, but they are also communal and social um, and so we also work together to uh, resist oppression in all forms that, that is presented in. So we work to end slavery. We work to end um, oppression and for-profit prison systems and anything that keeps people uh, in bondage or keeps people separated. And um, we're going to be talking about that. That's the, the sermon for this Sunday, too, if y'all tune in this Sunday. Um, the, the theme is chains shall he break, um, for the slave is our brother, uh, and in his name all oppression shall cease, right? We pray for that day, we long for it. And so as we gather together in our time of prayer, good morning, Darlene. Um, as we gather together in our, in our time of morning prayer, if you have any prayer requests that you want to share, I know that I've said this before, but I have never prayed for so many people's hearts this these last few months. And I don't mean like for a change of heart. I mean their literal hearts. We have had a lot of people in our congregation who have had um, heart trouble over the past few months. And I'm, I won't name them by name, but um, just know that that's, that's been heavy on, on me. And I hope that... Um, that God will bring healing for them. We've also had quite a few people who've gotten COVID uh, over the last few weeks. Um, and not all of those are on the prayer chain, although quite a few of them we did put on the prayer chain this week. So if you're on that and you and you get those emails, um, just everyone, uh, just about everyone is doing, is doing okay. Um, but yeah, you know, it's real. It's real and it's here and, and it's affecting people in our community and uh, in our church. And so as we pray for those that we know, those that we love, and we also lift up those that we don't know and even those that are our enemies. And so we go to God in prayer this morning. If you will, pray with me. God, we thank you for the gift of this day. For the many gifts that we've been given of freedom and of um, the ability to worship you without fear of imprisonment. And uh, Lord, we thank you for the gifts of our church and our family and friends and many of whom, Lord, we miss right now. Uh, some, some people we haven't seen for a long time and we long to be together again. But Lord, help keep us focused on, uh, on loving each other, even if we don't see each other face to face. Uh, Lord, we ask for an end to COVID. We ask for an end to this pandemic. We ask for healing um, for those who are ill, for um, 
We pray for those who are on the front lines. We pray for those who are working tirelessly on the vaccine. And Lord, give us patience. Give us endurance. And Lord, we pray for our, all of those in our church and in our community and, and those who are here are praying here with us, whether it is at the same time or later, who are in need of healing, Lord, especially those who have been having heart issues. And um, we just, we pray for your presence to be with them. Give peace, uh, give peace and, and rest for your people. And Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for the deep divisions that are, are very much a part of our reality right now. For the lack of trust um, between brother and sister and, and, and parent and child um, and neighbors. And Lord, we ask for healing. But even more so, we ask for a, re a greater reconciliation, Lord, of um, an end to racism. We ask for, um, for a more just system of um, for our law enforcement and criminal justice system. Lord, we ask for um, impartiality in our laws and in our uh, practices. And Lord, help us to see one another truly as siblings. Help us to, um, to lead first and foremost with compassion in our hearts for the people that we encounter. And for those that we don't know, for those all around the world, Lord, help build our love for one another. Lord, we pray all of this. We pray all of this communally, together, as you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Lord, you have woven the threads of creation too finely together for any of us to exist as islands unto ourselves. Teach us to delight in your web of life and to know ourselves and community. Amen. And now may the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. Go in peace this morning. Thank you.